On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, mm -hmm. I'll be sharing with you yet another video that you don't have to go on the stove top, okay? I'll be sharing with you some waffles today. So, let me pause right here to say special thanks to all the new people coming on to the Jamaican Cooking Journey page. Thank you all so very much. Welcome. And I hope you will go and watch our older videos and follow us from, you know, the, the earlier part of our journey coming on to now. Special thanks to those who have been there with me from the beginning and still here rolling on with me. Uh, extra special shout out to all my patrons. And if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon family, where you will see extra content that you're, you will not be seeing on the YouTube page, you can click on the, dis in the, on the link in the description and show us some love. We will never forget about our post notification shoutouts that always goes right there. So today, 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 I think I have made waffles only one time on this channel, you know? So it's Mother's Day coming up. People are getting into little, you know, little fancy stuff. And I am not sure how much how a Jamaican people do waffles. But I think people that has a lot of children, they will do waffles. These things, they freeze really well. You can make big batches and you can freeze them. They freeze and they thaw and they reheat and they serve well. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I put a twist to the waffle recipe. There are so many types of waffles. So I'm going to be making today a ripe banana chocolate chip waffle. Let's get right in. So right here, I have got my dry ingredients, which I have used about two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I did use a three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Um, which is self-rising. If you are not using self-rising, use a four. I have here one tablespoon of granulated sugar and also a quarter teaspoon of salt. Half of a teaspoon of salt you would need, but I am using um, unsalted butter. So if you are using salted butter, you use quarter. But I am using unsalted, so I have used half. So Listen, mix and match, understand, know how you go along with your measurements and your stuff. So I want to just go right in and give my dry ingredients. And you do this waffle as you would do like a bun. You know, you, you put the wet into the dry. You don't fold in. So I'm just gently be folding in this dry. Now that we have folded it, mixed it in properly, we're going to take it out of our way. I am going to be putting my wet mixture together, which comes, will be consisting of two eggs, half of a tablespoon of melted butter. You could use oil. I have got here a half, not tablespoon, a half cup. I've got here also about two thirds cup of chocolate chip. You can use your amount of chocolate chip. You can go less or you can go more. I have got here some coconut milk. It calls for one and three quarter cups of milk, but I'm using coconut milk. We're gonna be using a little vanilla to flavor up. So I have here two small bananas and I'm gonna be mashing them, getting them into like more like a liquid form. So I'm gonna mash these put, um, bananas and come back. Okay, so this is like pretty much you see that? Yeah, so try to get it out as much as possible. Okay. Now I am going to be beating my eggs out. And I'll beat them with my, about a tablespoon of vanilla. That is just for flavoring. Now I have pre and pre eating my waffle. These are one of the older type ones, you see? So do as you please. I'm spraying it with a little oil of course and i'll be spraying this part too because since them type your all on me i wanna just i just don't want to get it sticking and all of that but you use your use to your manufacturer thing so i'm gonna be i'm just pre-eating my waffle machine or we want call it. so i'm gonna be mixing my eggs out i'm gonna be putting in my bananas at this point I want to get all the lumps out. One and three quarter cups 
of milk and I am using coconut milk. And I have whisked up, but I still left a little bit of my banana pieces. Half of a cup of melted, this one is unsalted butter. So I'm going to whisk this in a little more, not much more. Just let it come together. And then in the next clip, you'll see me adding it to my dry mixture. And I'll show you how I just do it. Okay, now this is my wet and this is my dry. I'm going to put it in. A little at a time and I'm just gonna be folding it I'm not gonna be mixing with too much of a hard you know mix because I don't want the gluten in the flour to be you know too much gluten release and then the thing the waffling I would like to get my waffles more on the crispy side so I don't want to be like you know rubbing in too much I just want to be just lightly getting it through getting all of the um, the flour incorporated or the dry mixture so to speak incorporated so I'm just doing a gentle fold this is what I'm doing right here so I'm just gently folding it over until I'm not seeing any of that white flour I'm just gonna be putting this in two parts and I'm gonna continue to mix as you see gently folding it over you don't want to be too rubbing it too hard for too much of the gluten from the flour to be released into the batter because actually it's like a batter we have folded in this um wet into the dry no i'm gonna give it a little whisk i'm gonna get some hair trapped in there and i'll be whisking it until i get it all a little on the smoother part now it's time for our chocolate chip and I'll just just mix it in a bit just you know you see that mix yeah so I'm just gonna mix it in and I'll leave it to rest my make my waffle maker is still preheating this one is on the elderly side then it just see them here so you know we go slow next clip I'm gonna leave this to rest whilst the waffle preheats also our waffle maker has been, look like it has been extra preheated. I'll pour mine in the middle and I don't want to pour too much from because I don't want when I close it down it spills over and it seems like I did just that. So this one is like four. Yeah. And I'm going to gently close it down. We might have a mess but that's how it goes. So we're going to look at our waffles fam. I think the steam is coming up. So it should be cooked. Oh, so this is what we have. Really crunchy. We're going to try to lift them up. This is what we get. Okay. So we had a clean cook. So we don't have much of a cleaning up to do. So you're going to have to grease it just the same again before each batch. You just make sure so you grease it. Yeah, I like to grease it little extra some people depending on the one as i told you this one is an older one so let's go and just get and take a note of all your the texture of your batter should be i just want to try to i don't want to get it too okay So if you notice here, we have these edges. This, that is all. The overflow made it. So what I did with the first one, I just used my scissors to trim the edges. So like this, for just for presentation. So when you put too much on it overflow, I just trim the edges. So I'll go trim this one. And then when I return, you will see. So guys, here you have it. It's our um, red banana chocolate chip um, waffles. So 
you know you can just serve this with, with how you want it you can chop some fresh fruits put to the top you can put whipped cream you can put syrup it is all up to you serve with a cup of coffee and there you go easy squeezy remember to get one a bit more up oh, maybe yours are updated i've got to i've got to get myself a waffle maker now and a great tip very important tip the very first set you take out or each set you take out make sure you leave it on a wire rack for them to remain crisp the top of these are crisp so you see that yes let them remain on the wire rack you see how nice they are look at it look at the chocolate chip in there coming out and these are so beautiful <laughs> let them remain on the wire rack you can make so much of these you can make a whole stock they freeze really well thanks for watching